Along with the advancing social justice and promoting decent work for all, the ILO centenary celebration in Myanmar took place on Monday. The celebration, led by the Union Minister for Labour and Immigration and Population and the Deputy Director General for International Labour Organization ILO, ILO is a United Nations specialized agency dedicated to promoting social justice, decent work, and internationally recognized human and labor rights. The ILO first established its liaison office in Myanmar in 2002. In September 2012, Myanmar signed Decent Work Contract Program DWCP with the ILO. According to the ILO Centenary Declaration for the Future of Work adopted at the International Labour Conference in June 2019, it is based on a human-centered approach to increase investment in three areas, people's capabilities, institutions of work, and in decent and sustainable work for all. ILO founded since 100 years ago by implementing the needs of workers and for all human beings. Myanmar has been entering into the ILO as one of the member countries since 1948. By this year, along with the commemoration ceremony of ILO's 100th anniversary, we are going to discuss, including government, employers and workers, from the standard preparedness and common job opportunities based on a human-centered approach. The celebration also included panel discussion on the ILO declaration, including tripartite members from government, employers and workers' organizations. The responsible persons responded to the questions raised by the participants. At the same time, the Deputy Director General also pointed importance of both ratification of fundamental conventions for the future of work. And we would look forward to working with the government to assist it in getting the full ratification of all of those fundamental conventions, as well of course as some of those other important conventions that the ILO has. But it is these fundamental conventions that we think should be the highest priority. The celebratory event also featured the cultural performances, photo exhibition, awarding ceremony for ILO centenary essay contest, as well as the National Tripartite Dialogue Forum. 